Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I get asked a lot of times what types of lentils I use, uh, varieties of dal. Now there isn't one variety. I see a lot of recipes so many times that just say split yellow lentils. Now what is split yellow lentils? Yellow lentils split. That could be absolutely anything. That could be moong dal, that could be chana dal, that could be tur dal. And I'm telling you all these three dals, these are just the three yellow split lentils, um, take different times to cook, taste differently and they taste different to different tarkas and flavor combinations. So it's really quite annoying to sometimes find all types of lentils just under the category of split yellow lentils. Um, anyways, I thought I will quickly show you uh, my cupboard and all the lentils I use on day-to-day -day basis. Um, so I'm just going to quickly um, show you um, and if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments uh, about any of these uh, varieties of dal. So that was everything in my dal cupboard and I'm just going to show you what varieties they are. Look at all the lovely colors, um, all the textures and trust me, they all taste very, very different. First thing is Rajma, which is red kidney beans. Now these are, as the name suggests, red. Um, but you can also get varieties in this. So you could get um, slightly lighter red color. You can get one with patterns and they all taste slightly differently. Uh, but any of those red kidney beans would work if a recipe asks for um, red kidney beans. And that's um, quite a kind of meaty uh, beans and they are great in curries. Um, I make a very traditional Punjabi dish called Rajma. And like I said, you can find different kind of color variations of it. Um, there is a specific Rajma that comes from Northern India, which tastes just amazing, but I can't get hold of that over here. So I just make do with whatever I can find in the Asian supermarkets here. It's a really good one to have in the kitchen because um, come summer, I'm going to make some burgers from it. You can make flatbreads with it. You don't have to stick with curry. You can cook them. These are dried. So all of them, if you are using these beans, you have to soak them overnight and then cook them, which adds to the texture and the flavor. So yeah, these are great all-rounders, great in salads, great in wraps. Um, Lots can be done with these red kidney beans. Moving on to our beloved chickpeas. Who doesn't like chickpeas? And um, these ones are great if you can soak them overnight uh, because they taste so much better than the tin chickpeas. And obviously you know hundreds of ways to use them in your food. I really don't think I need to tell you much about chickpeas um, from the recent falafel that I made to absolutely anything from salads to tarts to curries to oh, just dips, hummus, everything. Chickpeas are amazing. Um, I always have a big bag of chickpeas, dried ones as well, because if I can remember to soak them overnight, then obviously uh, they are next level delicious. Next black chickpeas um, they are slightly smaller than the uh, white chickpeas as you can see they taste very different they cook their cooking time is different um, and the end result is quite different as well they're smaller in size too um, but they are really delicious um, and we call them kalachana and it's this kalachana that you get your um, chana dal from so if you just break open oops, uh, one of these, what you have here will be your chana dal. So when people say chana dal is chickpeas, it's not the white chickpeas. It's actually the black chickpeas that are actually chana dal. Which brings us to chana dal. 
So here is the chana dal, which is basically split black chickpeas. Um, and uh, they are delicious. With the chana dal, it is uh, the difference with the uh, other kind of uh, yellow lentils and this one is that it's much creamier. It's got uh, more richness to it than uh, kind of tuar dal or moong dal which are the other two yellow lentils and they just they just taste uh, very different it's got a kind of deeper flavor more earthy uh, is what i can say for these um, chana dals but they take much longer to cook than other lentils because they just yeah they just take much longer to cook the other lentils might cook in might cook in 15 20 minutes but they take you know, at least an hour to be done. That brings us to tuar dal, which is so similar looking to chana dal um, that even I get confused sometimes. But there are subtle differences. So chana dal is here. Um, and this one is a very tiniest bit smaller in size. It takes lesser time to cook and it tastes obviously different, very, very different to this. It's a bit lighter than this. Chana dal can be quite heavy. Tuar dal is really nice, light and refreshing. If you were to ask me which of these lentils or which of these dal I use the most in the week, it's got to be tuar dal. Um, it's easy to cook and in our household, the traditional Punjabi Tadka dal, uh, which I make at least once a week, is made with tuar dal. It just is, is just lovely. And for me, I associate that with kind of uh, comfort food and um, kind of just, I try and make it kind of on Mondays because it's like the start of the week, healthy start to the week. So this is one of my favorites, tuar dal. Um, coming to another popular dal, moong dal. This is whole moong, which is green lentils, um, and they are quite wholesome. They are very, very nutritious, and they are really easily available in supermarkets. So this is whole, and if you want to buy um, split skinless moong dal, it's this one. So this is the same dal as this, but this one is whole with the skin on and this one is the same dal uh, skinless and split and this is much lighter than this obviously this is also very nutritious but this is much lighter than this takes half the time to cook um, this is really really quick to cook 15 minutes um, or so and it's really light and refreshing now if you understand whether a if when a recipe says um, moong dal and you decide to use whole moong, uh, which is, uh, you know, green whole moong, um, it's going to be very different. The end result is going to be very different because this takes longer to cook and then people might say the recipe doesn't work, but actually that's not the case. You're just not using the right lentils specified in the recipe. So um, the taste, heavy, wholesome, this one is more refreshing, light on the stomach, quicker to cook. Um, Another kind of Punjabi favorite is rongi or black eyed beans. We call it rongi and it's kind of cooked quite similar to the red kidney beans. And it's, yeah, it's quite delicious and really kind of uh, creamy. So yeah, this is um, called rongi in Punjabi. Uh, it might be called lobia in um, other parts of India, but we call it uh, rongi. And um, this is great because with rajma, which is the red kidney beans, you have to soak them overnight and they take longer to cook. Whereas this, I'm not saying it tastes the same, but it's kind of like the beanie flavor, which is similar to um, red kidney beans. And this, does not require overnight cooking. It takes longer to cook, but it doesn't need overnight cooking. And it's much, much quicker to make than red kidney beans. Moving on to black lentils. And that is called urad dal. So this is called sabut ural, which is the whole um, urad dal with the skin on. And when you get rid of the skin, it becomes plain urad so that is the difference um, a lot of the recipes 
call for this surat um, but uh, kind of people try and mistake it for this one and this takes really long to cook but it is absolutely delicious so um urad dal is is the base for um, dal makhani that's what we use uh, for dal makhani in our house and this is absolutely delicious it's so amazing once you've cooked it then you kind of turn it to low heat and slow cook it for longer <laughs> it's just is so amazing it's rich and it's quite special i don't make it very often i have to say um i cook split urad often and this is what is used when i use uh, urad for uh, say tempering or tadka or in some lemon rice or in sambar or something else this is what is used uh, not the black hole urad um, and that is what makes it really really interesting so yeah um this is absolutely delicious you can make it dry or with some nice um, kind of watery bit loose and this one is just so thick and creamy and delicious um so the last two lentils left are masoor dal this is um, very popularly called um green lentils in the uk it's so easily available it is super quick to cook um you know 10 12 minutes it's done it's great for obviously dal but also in soups and salads and all sorts and um another kind of masoor is the split masoor which is the most commonly used um kind of masoor or red lentils i have seen in the uk because it literally takes 8 to 10 minutes to cook and it's ready the interesting part with red lentils or masoor dal is once it cook once it's cooked it doesn't say it doesn't stay red it turns to yellow um and it if you put a bowl of tuar dal and a bowl of masoor dal side by side um you know not every one can tell the difference because they look exactly the same once cooked um they don't taste the same at all but they look very very similar once done so this is one i have seen the most recipes of online the most we used in the uk because this is literally available in every um kind of corner shop literally um and that's why i guess and also it's really really quick to cook the one thing i want to say is that don't think that this is um all the variety and this is the only lentils available there are so many more varieties but they are not the ones i use every day for kind of weekly cooking so they're not in my uh, cupboard in the kitchen but these are the ones i end up using all the time and which is why i wanted to tell you the kind of varieties you can find recipes using all of these on my channel i think i haven't shared a recipe for kala chana yet but i'm going to do that really really quickly um hope uh, this was helpful right guys hope you found this little um kind of uh information on lentils useful i hope that uh when you are in a asian supermarket next time and trying to find the right lentils you will remember what i've mentioned and the flavors and um hopefully um try it out the recipes with the right uh, dals that are mentioned in it so yeah if you have any questions regarding dal then please leave them in the comments and i will get back to you um straight away um and don't forget to subscribe happy cooking guys